Hello, my name is Katherine Nelson. I'm the owner of Del Sol Massage and Body Work, and today we're continuing our conversation about magnesium. In particular, what we're going to talk about is how to take or how to use magnesium orally versus topically. Um, in other videos, we've talked about the benefits of magnesium. Um, we'll talk in another video about how to use the magnesium spray, how much you need, um, how it works in your body, all those kinds of things. So be sure to check out the, the related videos. So for today, when we talk about oral versus topical, we're really talking about swallowing a pill versus spraying something on our skin. So this is a conversation that um, a lot of research actually, you can find a lot of research on this very question, which is better? How should you take magnesium? Because if you go to your doctor or if you, pretty much everybody's gonna tell you to take a pill. So here's the problem. When you swallow it, the digestive process destroys the magnesium that's in that supplement. Approximately only 4% is usable by your body. That's a terrible ratio. Especially when you remember that we talked about you need to be in the 500 to 600 milligram range every day. So to get 4% and have it equal 500 to 600 milligrams, you would have to be taking thousands of milligrams of magnesium every day and that is going to ruin your belly and that's the biggest complaint with people who take magnesium is that they have belly pain and upset um, cramping that kind of thing and diarrhea and the reason why is because the magnesium in your when it's in your colon it pulls water in um, and that's that's the diarrhea so imagine if that's happening on a smaller scale if you were trying to reach this orally bad news bears, you'd have diarrhea for days. So, um, one other thing to note about um, medication, swallowing medication, more than um, several dozen of your prescription medications can interfere with magnesium absorption. So we talked in other videos about 80% um, of Americans being estimated to be magnesium deficient. Magnesium is hard to measure because it's a blood test and less than 2% of the magnesium that's available in your body is actually found in your blood. Most of it's in your bones, some other places, organs. So it's hard to get a good, accurate reading for that reason. Um, the, the estimation, the 80%, is based on our poor, um, the poor quality of our food supply and the composition of our diet. So if you, based on some of the other videos we talked about and some of the expressions of magnesium deficiency, what that actually looks like. The chances of you being magnesium deficient, just playing the numbers, are pretty high. And this is an easy fix, real easy fix. It's affordable, it's actually, um, it doesn't take a lot of time, it's really simple. So of all the things that you could be deficient in, this is an, a real easy one to take care of. So when we talk about the topical spray, Obviously, it bypasses the digestive process because it goes through your skin, straight to your blood. We don't have to worry about your gut at all. The other thing is up to 100% is usable by your body. So that's a real big difference, right? Um, and a much better ratio. So, um, and topical spray. If you see transdermal, if you're looking online or anything, that's, that's the same thing, topical spray. So, in another video, we're going to cover how to use the spray. Um, a lot of you have questions about how to use it, where to use it, how much to use, that kind of thing. So we're going to cover that because I want to make sure that you're clear on that and you're really fully benefiting from the spray. Sprays range from, from what I've seen, I mean you can spend upwards of 30, 40 bucks on a spray. Um, however, you can get the job done in the 9 to $15 range in our area, in the store. That's about what I've seen online as well. Um, so in our area here in Loveland, Fort Collins, Northern Colorado, you can find bottles at um, Whole Foods, Sprouts, uh, Vitamin Cottage, or Natural Grocers, place like that, um, or online, like I said. The other thing is, I'm going to start selling it here. This is the brand that I use, the Now brand. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll post pictures. Um, this is the brand that I use. I like it. People that I um, are using this brand they are reporting that they notice results very quickly, within days. So I like this brand. Um, the one thing, I'll post a picture of this too. This Life Flow brand, I don't know if you guys can see that. 
this one is the one that people are bringing back to me and they're saying that it's irritating their skin. Like in, in droves, almost. Like people are bringing this one back. So if you're out shopping around, I'm going to say stay away from this. The, um, Ma the ingredient is magnesium chloride brine. I think it's the brine. This one is not a brine. So I think when you're shopping around, stay away from that because it tends to irritate people's skin. So we're going to talk more about the spray specifically in our next video. For today, that's it. Um, if you missed our other videos or you want to see what else we're up to, check out our blog at delsoulmassageandbodywork.com slash blog. You can follow our Facebook page, and I would highly suggest you do that. We work hard to make sure that that information is relevant and useful to you. No junk or spam. Um, same thing with our newsletter, which you can sign up for at our website. Uh, that comes out about once a month. Same thing, chocked full of really useful information. And then if you have a question about magnesium or massage or anything in that space, you can email me at dullswellmassageandbodywork at gmail.com. Just put video question in the subject line. I do read all those, and they do make it into videos, so I will be answering all those questions. Uh, I think that's it for today. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.